Hi there, my name is Karen and I'm a UX designer who is teaching myself how to code uh, via Khan Academy and currently I'm working my way through the HTML JavaScript Making Websites Interactive course and this is the fifth challenge in that course on Khan Academy. So in this challenge, um, it, this challenge comes right after a video we watched about called Changing Attributes. And in Changing Attributes, Pamela takes us through and shows us how we can change links uh, using um, the source attribute. And then also she helps us change actual images. So I don't know. Um, yeah, so let's see what we're asked to change in this challenge. It says change the avatar size, okay? Um, it says this website displays a table of avatars with a list of characteristics and images for each one. In this challenge, you'll change attributes of the images in J JavaScript. Using the variable that we've already created, I assume that's this over here, use a for loop to iterate through the images and change the height attribute of each image, okay? If you've done it right, you should see the images change size. All right, so we have not, we did not do that exactly in the last video, um, or Pamela didn't show us exactly how to do that, I, I, if I recall. Um, but sometimes I don't remember things perfectly. Actually, that happens a lot. <laughs> um, but this is kind of new for me, but I think I'm gonna, I think I can, I have an idea for what to do. So first let's start out with what um, they've, they've given us already. So it says using the variable that we've created, that's this, um, use a for loop to iterate through the images. Okay, so for, all right. So we're going to use this for loop because we want to change more than one thing. We want to change all three of these images. So the, um, we're using a for loop to do um, multiple actions. So we're going to start with um, saying initializing our for loop, saying i starts at zero, and then we are going to put our condition in there. And our condition is that while i is less than avatar l's dot length, um, we're going to continue iterating through each. Um, increment through each item by one. So now that um, now that we've told our for loop what we want to go through and by how much, now let's tell it what to do with each of the items that we've in our avatar else um, variable. Uh, avatar else. And I, my eyes immediately went up here to this hint text, um, even though I think I could have figured that out, but whatever. Avatar else. Okay, so for each one of our, uh, each one of each index of our avatar our else variable or array, um, uh, we are going to what it says. Iterate through the images and change the height attribute. Okay, I'm not really sure if that will work, but it might. It seems iffy to me just to write height as the attribute that we want to change, but I'm going to try it. Um, dot height equals uh, change the height attribute. Mm. All right, let's say 200. Nice. Okay, I didn't even have to specify pixels or anything. That's interesting. Okay, um, we we successfully did step one. Um, Hombers popped up, says good job, and uh, we changed the height of our avatars. Cool. All right. Now it says add tool tips. Okay. Now use JavaScript to add tool tips to each image. A tool tip is a little bit of text that shows up when you hover over an, over an element. You can use the title attribute to set ba basic tool tips on HTML tags. Interesting, okay. 
In your for loop, set the title attribute of each image to the value of the image's alt attribute. All right, I see that each of them does indeed have an alt attribute. And it says you can test that it worked by hovering over the images after. All right, so we don't need to create a new for loop. I'm, I looked at this hint again um, because I, we, we've already said what we're going to iterate through and change. And now we just need to say we're going to change something else as well as the height for each of the uh, each part of this avatar L's variable, each image. All right, so avatar L's I dot title. It says, um, I got that right here in your for loop set the title attribute of each image. Okay, again, I'm not sure if I can just write title, but I'm gonna try. Um, equals, um, let's look at our hint here. Oh, it equals, right, right, right. Okay, so we're, we're making the avatar L's title attribute equal the alt attribute. So avatar L's um, dot alt. Yeah, so we, we made the title equal to the alt attribute. And we did it. Um, Hover popped up and said, congratulations. And let's see if it works. I'm not, oh, woohoo! So, yeah, I did not realize that you can um, hover over elements and see, and that you can see the title tag. That's really cool. All right, well, we're done here. Uh, thanks so much for watching. And uh, um, I will see you in the next challenge.